I watched this video this morning, which I found really interesting. Uh, it was like a five or ten minute video. The guy was basically talking about how in 150 years time, we're not even going to be a memory. No one's going to remember you. Um, you're simply not going to be on anybody's mind. Even your own family members, your descendants. 150 years time, forget it. He goes on to talk about the guys in, you know, 1873, whatever he said. He said, how many people right now on earth living the almost eight, or is it eight billion of us now? How many people are thinking about people that lived in that era, in that age, 1873? No matter how powerful, no matter how famous anybody was during that period, it is very rare that somebody right now is thinking about somebody from back then. And there has been many people back then who were very powerful, very famous, very knowledgeable, did wonderful things, conquered land, conquered this, won these prizes, that prize, this prize. He even talked about Michael Jackson. I think he said he passed away, it was it 2009 that he said? He was basically the God, the God of music. He was number one musician, pop star, whatever you want to call him, superstar. How many people right now are talking about him? How many people are consciously thinking about Michael Jackson right now? And how many years are we removed from that? 14, 13, whatever it is. Now, who are you and who am I? We are little toenails, little nails of Michael Jackson. If we, you know, in terms of fame, in terms of influence, in terms of achievements, we are nobody compared to him. Why did I find this video so interesting and, and so meaningful? It's because it belittles and it highlights the importance of not stressing over shit. All this money that you get, all this PRs that you get, this fame, cars, mansions, women, whatever you want to call it, you can't take anything away. You can't take anything to the ground. Once you die, you die. And we're all going to die. That's one thing that's guaranteed. And the guy in the video says, no one's coming out of this alive. These these ideas keep popping into my head, uh, especially when I'm kind of zooming out and thinking about everything. Everyone is so competitive. And one of you guys, I can't remember when, it was a while back now, said to me that comparison is the thief of joy. Comparing yourself to the person next to you, I need to do better than him. Why? It doesn't matter. You're not going to be Michael Jackson. You're not going to be Michael Jordan. You're not going to be LeBron. You're not going to be any of these figures that we care about. You're not. It's just statistical anomalies these people are. So you and me, the normal guys, why do we give a shit if we're going to get one up from the neighbor or whoever? It completely belittles all our trouble. Relax, man. Relax. Relax. No one gives a shit if your car is $5,000 more expensive than mine cheaper or whatever you're still a piece of shit like I like I am we're all a piece of shit to me that is very calming very very calming oh yeah I need to climb the high rock I'm gonna apply for this job and get that position I'm gonna be so much better bro you're gonna get like three grand more five grand more you're still a piece of shit like everyone else is sometimes I I, I Sometimes we all, I think, we get uh, too focused on arbitrary shit. We get focused on little things. Very little things. You know, and uh, that video, man, it hit me like a hammer, man, like a sledgehammer to the head. And I've had all of these thoughts before, but it was, it was a very, very powerful video because it highlighted that, okay, you want to compare yourself to the bro next to you that goes to the gym. How about you compare yourself to Michael Jackson? How about you compare yourself to Ronnie Coleman or Arnold Schwarzenegger? Compare yourself to somebody in your field if you think Michael Jackson is a pussy or whatever. If you, all you care about is the deadlift and the bench and the whatever, whatever else you care about. Compare your, yourself to somebody, the greatest of all time in this industry. Let's say Arnold Schwarzenegger is the shit. Everybody, he started this whole mess. This whole 
you know, exercise with weights, whatever, looking good, strong, all this stuff. Maybe he planted the initial seeds. You know, he may, maybe, maybe was, there was guys before that, but he probably, he was the Marco Jordan. You know, basketball was played before Marco Jordan, obviously. But Marco Jordan put that shit on the map worldwide. I started watching basketball because of Marco Jordan. He was the coolest thing ever. He was the best ever. He was so athletic. He had this mentality. He had this killer instinct. And it was so freaking cool. I'm gonna start playing basketball instead of soccer. I grew up in Yugoslavia, man. Soccer was the was the religion over there. Started playing basketball because of him. So compare yourself to, to, to these guys and then realize that not even they can take all this shit to this next portion of existence. Where you know, whatever you believe in, God, no God, atheist, whatever. You can't take this shit to the ground, you can't take this shit to the next step, you just can't do it. You simply can't do it. It was a great video. Absolutely great video. It's it's incredible how recency is a real bias. So you talk to somebody my age, maybe even older, obviously older, they'll swear to God that Michael Jordan is the best of all time. Well, the majority of people in basketball. You speak to a 15-year-old kid right now, they're gonna be like, no way, LeBron, look at his stats. Never seen the guy, never, never, he was never in the moment when Michael Jordan was killing him. He never felt that vibe. He never felt the, the presence of Michael Jordan. All he can see is highlights right now, what people are talking about. So even Michael Jordan is now losing grip on being the greatest of all time. Michael fucking Jordan. Already God's talking about LeBron. Don't get me wrong, LeBron is great. But we're talking about Michael fucking Jordan, man. I am not trying to belittle anybody. Michael Jordan is losing grip in our minds in this evolution of the human race. Already the 15 to 10 year olds are like, nah, 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 LeBron, LeBron, LeBron. My son, LeBron James, LeBron James. Cause you know, I'm watching the best player in the NBA, LeBron James, he's the current guy. And if, there's toys now in the shops that they buy, it's LeBron James. There's no toys to Michael Jordan anymore. No toys. Recency, baby, what's up today? Michael Jordan is not even on the map anymore. Michael Jackson is not even on the map. Who are you again? What, 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 what did you do? Fuck all. That's right. Like me. Fuck all. Fuck all. So stop stressing about this shit. No one gives a fuck. No one gives a shit about anything. You're a little peasant. Like me. So just relax about your little stresses. About not putting on 5 kilos in your squat. Or big whoopsie do. You're going to put 5. Let's 20 kilos you're going to put on the squat next year. Guess what? You're still a ton away from the record. You're still a piece of shit. Once you realize that, you're like, oh, right, no worries. I'll just sit here for a little bit, relax. I'll train tomorrow as well, like I trained today. That's fine. But it just takes the edge off, man. Just relax, will you? I'm trying to relax over here. Like Joppa says in the, in the movie. It's an amazingly liberating thought to think of yourself, to think of yourself as a piece of shit. And I mean this as, 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 as positively as possible. You're not special. I'm a 33 year old, 34 in a minute, 34 year old trying to squat 220. I'm fully sick bro, 220, what a bar, look at this shit. Fully natural. I don't wear shit, I don't even wear jocks man. Fully natural, how sick is that? I'm the first one to do that. Bullshit. Just stay in your lane, man. A lot of people can't fathom that. Their ego is like, nah, 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 I'm something, man. I'm something. It's me. It's a bar, man. I'm something. That's their ego telling you some shit about some shit. But then you start to kind of realize as you go in age. When I was 18, I thought, yeah, man, Philadelphia 76 is going to draft me number one like they did AI. I'm the shit. I'm the next Michael Jordan, man. You know, I'm something. When I was 16, I, was, I had belief. And then eventually, you know, these ideas start to kind of creep into your mind that <laughs> you ain't shit. <laughs> and, uh, and eventually, you, you know, you get, you know, 
you get to your 30s and you're like, man, even if I was something, man, even if I was a, a role playing in the NBA, these guys don't usually make it to 30s, man. Only special few people, man. I think, what's, what's the average life life uh, of an NBA player, like in terms of career? What's the average career in the NBA? Like four or five years or something like that? I'm a 30 year old dude, man. I've got hip issues. I've got right hip issue, can't squat every day. This, that, the other. When I, when I turned 30, I was depressed, man. That birthday was a depression session to me, man. It was properly depressing. You know, and then I see these yachts around the place, all these millionaires, billionaires, whoever these people are. I'm never going to own something like that. And then you kind of start to see a ceiling of your life. What's Ivan going to achieve? What's the pinnacle of Ivan's success going to be? The chances are nothing special. Those are the chances. And when you start accepting that shit, that you're just a freaking peasant, driving a 20 year old car just relax a little bit man just calm your farm you know just relax with this ego these are some of the thoughts that start to creep in and it's a lot of people are gonna be depressed and i went to that stage depressed oh my god i can't believe i gave up a basketball dream that was a tough day but that was only the beginning of realization of who i am lebron james marco jordan Djokovic, all these guys that we look up to Man, if there was ever an anomaly, these guys are anomalies. Not many people do this in the history. Not many people at all. So stop having expectations like you're gonna be something. You're not. But that doesn't mean that you're insignificant. That doesn't mean anything. It just, I'm saying this, like I said, these are my thoughts that kind of went through my head. This is what I needed to say to myself to calm myself down. This was the realization. Hold on a minute, man. You're 33 year old, 34 year old dude. You're chasing 220. Okay, you're gonna get 220 in a minute. Okay, no worries. Next year you're gonna have 220. Let's just say it's gonna go really well. In the grand scheme of things, man, that's that's great for you. But let's let's not cost ourselves too much with this with this stuff in terms of stress and anxiety and losing sleep and being grumpy when I, my squat session doesn't go well. Stuff all this shit, man. Just relax. Relax. No one's gonna remember you in 150 years time. Book it. Not even your grand, 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 grandparents, uh, 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 kids. No one's gonna remember you. Shit. People don't remember the most famous. Who was the most famous person in 1873? Who was the most famous person in 1873? Who? I don't know. What was going on back then? Did people like live back then? Was there an earth back then? How many people right now know anything that happened in 1873? 1870s, 1860s. You would need to be a historian to know this shit. Even the most famous guy, we don't even know. This is what I'm trying to say. That's why I found this video very, very, very good. Man, it really hit me like a hammer on the head and just made me start to think thoughts which were healthy. And yes, thinking yourself as a peasant is very healthy. Very healthy. Thinking yourself as a piece of shit is very healthy because it earths you. And once you get earthed, it's, you're liberated. Is this fella gonna stop? Don't wanna run you over, man. It's very liberating. Now, a lot of people are like, man, you must really hate yourself to saying these words. No, man, liberation. I'm gonna work out today, work out tomorrow. Squat that bar, feel good about it. Even if you got shit, that's fine. Still love to do this. But know your place in, or on earth and know your place in history. Know your place, who you are, what you are, what's going on. Now we're all different, you know. It's, there's all these different styles of self-talk, right? Lots of people have different ideas of what they need to say to themselves to calm down. We should all have self-talk techniques to get ourselves out of a situation where we're feeling a bit shit. This is this is what works for me. Thinking about death, thinking about how insignificant I am, and how in 150 years time, no one's going to know anything about me. That's a beautiful thing for me. It removes the stress. Doesn't remove any motivation from me. I'm still motivated as, as ever, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna commit suicide if I don't get to 20 next year. I don't know. It's fine. It's all good, man. It's all good. A lot of people are gonna find this stuff very, very confronting, very uh, nauseating. Because really what we're talking about here is, is slapping, slapping the ego straight in the mouth.
bang, take that. We all have an ego. We all think we're special. You might sit there and be like, no, 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 I don't think I'm special. No, 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 you do. Everyone thinks they're a little special snowflake in this world. But then you start thinking about some of these thoughts that I'm talking about, like what the video was talking about. By the way, I'm gonna link that video in, in the thing. Hopefully it works and you guys can see it as well. Uh, I think I saw it on Instagram. Um, <coughs> Then you start thinking about what the, that, that video was talking about, and even better, start thinking about the universe. Start, start watching documentaries about the universe. Oh my lord. Talk about feeling like nothing. Oh my god. When you see how small Earth is in the grand scheme of things, there's videos where, like, uh, you know, they. they zoom into somebody's eyeball or whatever and then it's like the next the next shot is like of somebody's you know uh, zoomed out like from like a third person view and then it kind of keeps zooming zooming out zooming out until it's like the city and then the state and then the country and it keeps zooming out and out and out and eventually you can see the earth and eventually you can see like the, the solar system Mars like all this sort of stuff keep zooming out and then you see the Milky Way you see I don't know for me it's just like the ultimate comforting thing it's like I start to like zoom out myself and I think about politics. I think about why humans are so evil towards each other, like we're nothing, we're so small, like insignificant. Something can happen right now somewhere in the universe and bang, we're all out. But then there is somebody in the gym going, Yeah, look at this shit. Yeah, look at my muscles, baby, whole fucking massive, man. It's so embarrassing. Like I want to sink through the car thinking about that. Some guy's flexing his little biceps that grew like one millimeter in the last week. You know, showing off to the chicks how massive it is. Meanwhile, there's an asteroid flying by Earth that's the size of the, size of the freaking country. I don't know, man. Sometimes I, 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 I zoom in out too far and I'm like, Jesus Christ, what are we doing, man? The real work is here. The real work is here. Oh, this other shit that we're doing. Man. I don't know, man. I have these moments when I think about what I'm actually doing here and I'm like, man, I'm seeking so many hours into this squat thing, man. It's like, it's the furthest thing away from anything meaningful in life um, in terms of like real questions in Earth, on Earth, in life. Um, and then all these thoughts, you know, cascade, you know, one to the other to the other. And then I realize why I actually love the process of training. It doesn't really matter about the result at all. You could have like these... You know these deep deep thoughts feelings while doing anything I question my existence when I'm squatting like I question my existence when I'm thinking about how small the earth is in the grand scheme of things and I think a lot of this stuff that, that we that we use to improve our squat and deadlift and bench and whatever else we care about a lot of the process involved in accumulating these skills and this strength can be carry it over to many other tasks of accumulating mastery gaining mastery in any skill so it doesn't really matter where you apply it as long as you come to the same realization that the actual journey is more important than the destination because the destination doesn't really matter man. Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan Djokovic, Einstein like a lot of these guys I don't even remember now the really really big anomalies like Einstein, Tesla like these guys get remembered but they get remembered because they've changed the world. They didn't throw a ball into the hoop, kick a ball into the top of the top of the net. These guys literally gave us computers, gave us nuclear energy. It's different. Anyway, a lot of you guys ask me how the hell do you come up with the ideas for these videos, man? Like I consume the same shit that you guys consume. Same type of videos, same everything and I turned the camera on. I want to tell you guys about my thoughts about this video, which I'm going to try and link in the bottom, like I said. It sparked all these ideas and, and then everything else comes out after it, whatever I think about, and that's it. That's how I come to these conclusions. And, you know, I think it's a very beneficial way, you know, of, of thinking about everything. Stop fighting, stop comparing, stop stressing about this nonsense. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. All the money, all the hierarchy, 
that you that you attain or like all these roles all these positions do nothing matters man if i'm the bottom of the bottom of nursing and you're the top of the top maybe fifty thousand dollars separate us a hundred thousand dollars separate us okay you're earning double you're earning triple Dude, we're talking peanuts here man you can't if we were to go on a holiday right now you may be a little bit better than off than me okay you're not driving a 20 year old car you're driving a brand new car dude it's still shitting and eating and having trouble same as me we're not talking about you know elon musk and me no man all of this shit is just the same crap you're a doctor you're a nurse you're a cleaner how much money separates us half a mil what are you gonna do with that does that really change anything just relax, man. relax, go about your business, enjoy the freaking journey, fuck the destination, man, it doesn't matter, we're all peasants, 99.999999, all of us are freaking peasants, that's all we are, man, just relax, oh, it's a beneficial thought in my mind, man, you're nothing special, just go about your business, live your life, be happy, don't get grumpy after a shitty squat session. Just move on. You know. You guys have a look at that video and you let me know if, if you like it or not. Um, but it sparked all these thoughts in my mind. Appreciate all of you guys, man. I really do. I'm really enjoying this new type of content. Driving around. Um, hope you guys like it as well. I'm still training like crazy, you know, I'm just not uploading the same damn sets, you know, 60 for, for, for 10, 100 for 10, 140 for 1, 160 for 1, 180 for 1, okay, let's do some accessories, um, I find it's a little bit better for me as well to watch these videos, like the other, the last three videos, last four videos, I've watched them like several times, I don't know, I don't know why, it just seems to be more enjoyable for me to re-watch my own videos as well, so, hope you guys enjoyed, appreciate everyone on Patreon, the support on Instagram, um, Appreciate all of you guys and uh, catch you in the next one. Peace out.